Hello, this is Chiron Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes. And please, leave what does not. It says lyrics. Let me get something with lyrics. Somebody could be trying to like sweep you off your feet. It could be something. Oh, abandonment. Lyrics and abandonment. Let me get something with this abandonment. Look like somebody got some damn explaining to do. Like I'm getting that kind of energy. Like what happened? Like what you got to tell me? What you going to tell me? It says self-love. Oh, Lord. Somebody may be like giving flowers. They may say something. Um, how can I say? They may try to be nice because they may have like left somebody or abandoned somebody or left somebody alone or left somebody waiting. And it's something about self-love here. It says missing and longing here. Like, okay. Let me get something here. It says kerosene. Somebody could be a little bit aggressive with this. Or somebody is aggressive because of whatever happened in the past here. Somebody may feel abandoned. It says checkered flag. Like maybe something is done. Something is over. Something is finished here. It's like the final chapter. Like, how can I say this? Like someone is feeling like, OK, I'm good or I'm, I got one more. I got one more round or something like that. Kerosene is either something that is being provoked. Something that flame is being added to the fire, something where there's fire underneath somebody's ass. And they know that this is the last step or I'm almost done or I'm almost something. Something like that, like something's almost finished here. Let me get something here. It's like someone may give you flowers or send you flowers to tell you that they're sorry or something like that. See, Olive Branch, I didn't even read the card, y'all. I didn't even read the card. I just looked at the flowers and I said, somebody could be sending you flowers. And it says Olive Branch. So I really do feel like there is somebody here that's going to be mad. They're going to be mad, but there's somebody here that's sorry. And they had to do something out of self-love. They have to, they had to step away out of self-love. Maybe somebody disappeared for a while. Maybe somebody was being missed. What is this at the bottom? We got chocolate. This damn chocolate card come out more than any damn other card that I got up in here. This chocolate is always damn out here. Let me get something here. Oh my goodness. Something about, you know, having a good time, maybe like fine dining, maybe do something nice, something fun, something here. Go and do something. Somebody gonna be mad though. Like I'm getting the kind of energy, like if you're the person that's like apologizing, be ready. <laughs> be ready for that kerosene. That somebody might douse. You see five of pentacles. I said. <laughs> I said be ready. Be ready to feel rejected too. Because this person really feels the type of way that. It's like they feel like you left them. And now you want to come. And you want to like sweep, sweep me off my feet. And shit like that. Nah I'm going to make you feel it. Let me get something with this five of pentacles here. Something about that kerosene. We got lunar eclipse. Lord. Oh, God. This is something faded here. Five of pentacles and lunar eclipse. Somebody could lose money. Somebody could be. Somebody's health could be fading. Somebody's body. Something here. Lunar eclipse after the five of pentacles, though. Five of pentacles is like being left out in the cold. 
feeling like you ain't got no damn heat. You ain't got no money for no heat or electricity or gas. We got the lover's card here. Wow, Gemini energy here. There is some type of union here. Someone's going to go from feeling left out in the cold to being in union with somebody. This could be a Gemini here. What is this at the bottom? King of Cups. King of Cups here. This could be a water sign I'm talking about. Somebody can have water very prominent in their chart. This could also be someone that is just love. Someone that's just in love. Let me get something here. We have Ace of Pentacles. This is a new opportunity here. This is some type of offering. It's something real. Okay. Oh, shit. I just remembered. I didn't even pick up the card from the last reading. Is that card still down there? I just dropped another one, too. Oh, yep. That, that Nine of Wands is still down there. I don't even know what reading that was. We have the full card here. Wow. No, seriously. This is a new beginning here. This is definitely a new beginning. This is also somebody, it's something about standing in your power. Cause that night, I just remember when I dropped this card that I forgot that I dropped another card and another reading from this deck and it's still on the floor, nine of wands. So it is about somebody standing in their power here. It is also about like spiritual protection and having, how can I say a very strong energy, tough skin, like a soldier, like, you know what I'm saying? It's something like that. It could be very significant here. Confirmation. It could be very significant. Look, Ace of Cups here. Ace of Pentacles, full card, Ace of Cups. Y'all, there's two people that's about to come back together. It's on the board. It's on the board. It's on the board. There's two people that's about to come back together. This is going to be a real offer of love. It's going to be a real offer it says, it's, look, I think somebody had to go and love themselves before they could love somebody else. And you can't blame them. Let me see. You have the Three of Cups energy here. Wow, the Three of Cups energy underneath the Ace of Pentacles. This could be about a friendship. This could be about people coming together. This could be about that celebration. Remember how I saw chocolate? It could be something where it's like fine dining, splurging on something, treating yourself. It could be like romance. You know, just feeling good. Just feeling good. We got the two of cups here. Nah, for real, y'all. Three of cups underneath the ace of pentacles. Two of cups underneath the full card. This is deep, deep. All these cups coming out here. Let me get something here. And we have the queen of pentacles underneath the ace of cups. Wow. This could be an earth sign also or somebody that is just about to be in a greater position here financially okay we uh, four of pentacles somebody about this shit is about to be solid this is about to be solid this is about to be something that's powerful like this is this is somebody's crazy story right here with this lyrics and abandonment and then self-love like i really feel like it's even giving me like somebody could have went off to the military or some shit like that Something that they just had to do is what I'm seeing. Something that just had to be done. Let me get something here with this Ace of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Swords here. Okay, let me get something with this Seven of Swords. This could be some type of strategy here to offer this. Look, Six of Pentacles here. I really think it's meant to show something. Like someone, it's like a, how can I say this? It's like saying something without saying it is what I'm seeing here. It's what I'm seeing here is saying something without saying it. Seven of swords, six of pinnacle, clarifying the ace of pinnacle. Like someone's going to show you or whoever this is. I don't know if you the one that's going to show somebody. I don't know. Someone's going to show you. We got the hermit card Virgo energy here right on top of the full card. Let me get something with this hermit energy. We have the five of swords energy here. Yeah, this is that. It feels like somebody had to do that self-love. They had to go and be single or in solitude or something like that. That is the problem. That's that kerosene. That's where someone's going to have the problem. They're going to have a problem right there. It's going to be the beginning right there. But it's, I feel like it's something. 
I don't know if something has to be spoken on, but lunar eclipse, it brings the real emotions out. Okay. The real emotions out. I don't know if this is going to be the lunar eclipse that's in Libra or is it the lunar eclipse? Okay. There's a lunar eclipse in Libra, March 25th. There's also a lunar eclipse in Aries. I don't know if it's September or November. But I'm just saying, it says lunar eclipse here and it says Gemini. Maybe it's closer, maybe it's closer to uh, the the one in, damn, I can't even speak. Maybe it's the one closer to the lunar eclipse in Libra because the lover's card, okay. Maybe, maybe it's, I know there's not a lunar eclipse in Gemini season, but maybe it's some, look, it has to be something with Gemini here. Look, we got the lover's card again as I was speaking about Gemini. Y'all, let me get something with the lover's card. This is a real, like, relationship here. Ten of Pentacles. Family and every damn thing. Every damn thing. It looked like somebody, I don't know, how can I say? I don't know the right word to use, but it looked like somebody's going to give, like, some type of, like, collateral. Or they're going to give something... And it's going to show the commitment or something like that. I don't know. But it's going to turn into Ten of Pentacles here with the lover's card. It's something that it's... I don't know if this is a business. It's something. I feel like there's something that is some type of blessing being given strategically. Something is being given like strategically. I don't know how to explain that. We have the Two of Wands energy here. Let me get something with this Two of Wands. We have the Knight of Pentacles here. Two of Wands, not a pentacle. I feel like two people are going to be working together. It could be two people, like it could be something intimate, but I don't think so. It, it's starting to more so look like business, like a, a relationship where two people are working together or people are working together, people are coming back together or something like that. Let me get something with this Two of Cups here. We have the Sun card here, yep. It's about these two people coming back together. Queen of Pentacles right here. Before we're even about to clarify the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles comes out. Let me get something with this Queen of Pentacles. Wow. And it's Knight of Pentacles and the Sun and the Queen of Pentacles. And it's all facing the Sun. This is going to make everybody happy. That's what everybody wanted. That's what was wanted in this situation. This is the Two of Cups right here. It's clarifying the Two of Cups. Look, y'all. Let me get something here with this Queen of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Oh my goodness. Somebody got some type, I don't know, some type of accreditation. They are very skilled at something. Somebody is amazing. Somebody is about to build this shit up with the right person. They about to build this shit up with the right person, y'all. Stop playing. Look, King of Pentacles. Screaming, y'all. Screaming. Screaming, 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 screaming right now. These are two business owners right here. They could, There could have been some type of plant. Look, Wheel of Fortune. I'm about to throw the cards. Wheel of Fortune falling right on top of the Four of Pentacles here. This right here is it's a business that is meant to come together. It's a relationship. It's like you don't just make a business with any damn body. This is somebody that is meant to come together. And it may not have worked in the past or somebody had to leave or something, 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 something. Okay. But there's something that it needs to get over. We got the olive branch right here. Somebody needs to. Yeah. I'm just saying. Somebody needs to. It's like extending the olive branch. And if that person declined, then it is what it is. But this is somebody that knows the truth. And they know that this shit is going to be big, big, big. Big, big, fucking big. Knight of Pentacles, the Sun card. Queen of Pentacles, all facing the Sun. And then you got the Eight of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. Tell me that's not the people working together to build this shit. And it's going to make everybody happy. And it's a lot of people involved in this with this Three of Cups energy. It's a lot of people that's going to help. Like the Three of Cups is the Knight of Pentacles. Two of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. It's something here about like moving towards a new dream new, moving towards a new vision and building it this is falling on top of the three of cups the two of cups here this is going to make somebody happy right and then right with the queen of pentacles clarifying the queen of pentacles is the eight of pentacles and the king of pentacles here 
these are this right here is the two of cups this this is one cup and this is the other cup right here all of this right here i swear this is going to come together right here this is going to come together and there's going to be like i said other people involved in it that's why it's the king and the queen and the knight the knight is here with the three of cups the knight is the one that's sent out to do the shit or they're the ones that's doing something here it's something like that two people running the shit and people working for the company working for something here this shit is going to be professional it's going to be skilled it's going to be organized it's going to be beautiful oh my god the way that this is coming out here let me get some let me see something here we have five of swords energy here why we keep having to go back to this five of sword somebody gonna keep reminding you of some shit let me get something with this five of sword <laughs> we have the tower oh my goodness i feel like whatever this is it has to it's a problem that must be solved it's a problem that must be solved and once it's solved it's going to change everything but it's a problem though is that look it says justice did not fuck look y'all oh look at the little puffy that shit is going to be solved here it is really going to be solved here look king of pentacles king of pentacles this could be two earth signs here this could be two hard workers this could be two people that are very equipped to build something very ready to build something like very serious out here i don't know this is crazy the way that this is coming out here like this. Let me get something here. We got mice. Oh, hell no. We need to get this mice, whatever. It's some, Okay, let me read this shit. It says anxiety, fear, worry, irritation. Yeah, this five of sword must be like... you. <laughs> You hear me trying to skip over the five of sword like, OK, y'all can get over this problem. Y'all can just get over that because this is going to be like a big ass business. But no, I think this may be something that it really needs to be handled or like it could crumble the whole foundation. Like you don't want to have mice or some shit. You don't you know, you don't want to do that. Having crumbs and shit, having shit all left out and left over. I don't know. It says stork transformation, change, active, renew. OK. It really does look like something improves here. It says arrive, renovate, birth. Let me get something here. Five of sword and that five of pentacles. Oh, we got twin flames here. Whatever this is. And you know, mice like cheese. I'm just saying. Mice like cheese. Somebody here, they just shit. Somebody about to be working hard. They about to get that money. Look, King, King of Earth, Capricorn energy, also Saturn's energy, and I guess Capricorn. I have to say the Devil card also. This is like an energy of having some type of business, having some type of business here. Capricorn rules over the material world, having some type of business here where you're making some type of money here. I'm telling you, having people working for you, this could even be something that uh, starts closer towards the winter time. But we got lunar eclipse out here, so I don't know. It says dog, supportive, friend, faithful companion, look, soulmate and peer. I don't know. This could be like a real business move here. It says crow, memories, remembering a new event or happening clever problem solver observer hmm it seemed like it's a lot it's some people on your team or some people that need to be on your team or something like that this whole whatever this is this need to come all together this need to come all together because i see too much of this knight of pentacles sun queen of pentacles ten of pentacles king of pentacles all these pentacles like this right here yeah Somebody need to, I don't know, grow up. Somebody need to say what you got to say. Somebody, I mean, like, this is a lot of shit that, I don't know, like, things, terrible things in, like, good things in, I should say, good things in 
you know, for other reasons, it's not always some terrible shit. Sometimes it's just not the time. Sometimes it's not. What does it say? It says bouquet. It says happy, harmony, beautiful, creativity, a gift, a gift. Remember what I was saying? I feel like somebody's going to give something here with this six of pentacles and it's going to say something here. It's going to say something here. It's going to represent some type of reconciliation. It's going to represent some type of openness, some type of appreciation here. Mm -hmm. Let me get an angel message here. Like somebody that's loyal and very smart, very keen, very supportive. We have opportunity and change. Wow. Y'all, this whole entire reading, it says expect miracles. Y'all, I cannot even. It says transformation underneath it. I cannot even opportunity and change transformation like somebody just need to get past the rocky part because it really does look like a beautiful future here i don't know who this is for but it looks like something beautiful between a lot of people and it really just takes what i think openness maybe a conversation maybe something feel good i'm telling you something with this chocolate but i'm gonna leave it right here if you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your like, shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys, and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.